OK, so now that we have a functioning network, let's add momentum functionality. OK, so first things first, let's go back to uh, the initialize method and add another property. So this is just data from the last run. Self dot underscore previous weight delta is an empty list. Now in here, where we're setting up the weights and initializing them originally, I'm going to go ahead and just add in some default values for the previous weight delta by setting them all to zero. Okay, so np dot zeros, and it's going to be a tuple with the same size, L2 and L1 plus 1. All right, oops, that's LS. Uh, just like that. And then we are going to go down to the train method and move some stuff around. Let me move my cheat sheet over here. OK, so I'm going to change this weight delta to cur weight delta to indicate um, that that is the current weight delta. All right. And then what I'm going to do is say the actual weight delta. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't need to change that. Sorry, this is still weight delta. I'm renaming current weight delta because this is the current uh, delta from this run on the epic. And so we're going to say the actual weight delta is going to equal the training rate times current weight delta plus the momentum coefficient, so momentum times self dot underscore previous weight delta of index. Okay. Then we'll say self dot weights minus equals the weight delta, right? I'm taking into account the training rate and the momentum coefficient. And then I just say self dot underscore previous weight delta uh, at this index is replaced by this guy, which lets me accumulate momentum uh, in there. So then all I need to do is add a momentum coefficient or a parameter, and set it equal to, I don't know, 0.5 or something to begin with. And then let's uh, try it again and see what happens. Oh, crashed. What do you know? What is the problem? List index is out of range. Weight delta equals training rate times current weight delta plus momentum times self underscore previous weight delta of index. Oh, wow. Sorry, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. So. Don't append it to the list of weights. Uh, previous weight delta. Okay, that was really a bad mistake. Okay, let's try that again. Look at that, it's not crashing. Um, okay, so well that's better than last time, right? Uh, that was 20,000 iterations uh, with the momentum coefficient defaulting to 0.5. So we can, you know, just, we can mess around with this Right. This is one thing that's awesome about Python. We'll just say momentum equals, I don't know, something like 0.7, see if we get something faster. Oh, there you go. 1,300 iterations. And that's it. We get the expected output. So, boom, that's it. That's all it takes to do the momentum. It's so easy uh, because Python is amazing. Um, so, anyway, uh, hopefully that's straightforward and makes sense. Uh, I think the next thing we'll do is add in more transfer functions. And then essentially what uh, we'll do is we'll add a parameter when you initialize the thing that will be optional, uh, that will just be a tuple of uh, backpropagation network class member functions that will be uh, sigmoid or anything you want, Gaussian, you know, all of the different ones, we'll, we'll get them all set up. Okay, so that's next and I uh, will see you guys then, later.